this is Virgin Red Room and today I'd like to introduce you to a new boy band called The Kicks. They write their own songs, they play their own instruments and apparently they like to get their hair cut in posh salons. The boys are in there right now so I'm going to go have a quick chat to them. Uh, so do you feel a little bit uh, girly having your hair done in such a posh salon? Pass. <laughs> <laughs> So in your bio, you claim to be the biggest heartthrob of the group. So how many girls have you snogged in the last week? 20. 20? I'm honestly only joking. I do this, I, I, say, I tell a lot of jokes and, I, thank you very much. I tell a lot of jokes and, um, and everyone just takes them really literally. I'd be happier with one in a year, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to tour with Ollie Murs. How did that come about? It started, uh, uh, we did a uh, Blackpool Illuminations, the Christmas switch on, um, a little while back and we met him there and we sort of just carried on talking to him after that, sort of hoping that, you know, we could just stay in contact and the label stayed in touch with him as well and we just managed to hook up the tour from then. He's such a nice guy, he's a top lad. Um, we just have a proper laugh with him on tour. <laughs> having done to your hair today? Uh, just the sides shaved a little bit. I've got on a mission to get the biggest fringe ever. I'm going for the Johnny Cash, James Dean. Look, I, I'm taking it away from Jeb Bird. So is it true that you've been playing guitar since you were 12? I have been, yeah. I've been, my dad played guitar, so he's kind of been teaching me, but I picked it up properly when I was about 12, yeah. That's quite a few years, so it should probably be a lot better. You and Robbie went to school together, is that right? That is, yeah. We've been best friends since we were about 12, 13 now. Oh, and how did Very the rest cute. of you all meet? Uh, we met Jack the bassist at a party. I'm kind of keeping my head in a certain angle now. Uh, Jack the bassist at a party had been in bands with the drummer Dave May. And then we had our first band practice, recorded our first EP two weeks later. And have been going on since then, really. So what sets you apart, do you think, from some of the other bands out there? I think it's our influences and I think we're coming from a different place just due to the fact that we've been touring and gigging for as long as we have. I heard uh, you mentioning earlier, um, I want my good side in short. How do you decide which is your... Um, whichever way I play bass, uh. like, uh, because obviously I'm sort of right-handed, I'll be playing it like this, so this is the side of the face which is on show. I read that you won a competition eating a burrito in um, in America. Is this right? And you were the only British contestant to eat it within 15 minutes. It was 12 minutes I ate it, and yeah. And I think I weighed myself before and after. It was a couple of a few pounds which I put on. So can you tell us a bit about the single? It's kind of like a to an ex-girlfriend, you know, like, um, it's over, like, she's try coming back and you're kind of thinking, no, no, you broke my heart, like, this this song's for you. So, speaking of girls, in the video, uh, Emily Attack from The Inbetweeners yeah. is there, and uh, is she really nibbling your ears? She was, she just got right into that sort of, that sensitive back, around the back of your neck and you're like, you're like tingling all over, like, it's just, it's just crazy. She's the queen of seduction. worst hairstyle you've ever had? I had a, m a massive swoop fringe and it was down to about here Whoa. and then um, I decided that I didn't like how long my fringe was so I cut it myself and then the uh, <laughs> problem was I was cutting it like this with my eyebrows raised so I was like oh yeah that's bang on my eyebrows so I looked up and then obviously it's here um, so I wore a hat for a good like six weeks. <laughs> I heard that Robbie Williams gave you guys some great advice what did he tell you? Um, he was talking about we was, we was talking about quite a few things, but the main point that I think we took in was um, he was talking a lot about lyrics, and, and he was just saying sort of like how he just always writes from experience and just sort of gave us that to get the edge on it. It's just like really dig deep um, and find what you can from those experiences and find the most hurtful things, and that's what people can relate to at the end of the day. There's a few other things I probably can't mention, but <laughs> I'll keep them. What's the best gift that you've ever been given from a fan? Robbie's got given loads of things like T-shirts and Harry Bow and I'm kind of jealous really. So if any of you are watching, and I like Harry Bow too. <laughs> so you guys have all got your hair done now. It's yes. looking pretty good. Look, yeah. I like it. I like it. So before you guys head off for your gig with Ollie Murs, can you just give us your best blue still down the camera lens? Can we just? 
amazing amazing thank you